Code signal arcade introduction number 21 is IPv4 address. We are given a string and we should say whether it's an IPv4 address or not. IPv4 address means four numbers, each one in a range from 0 to 255, and each one of them is split by exactly one dot character. So, as far as I can see from the input and the formulation, we have to have, I mean, we can have any type of a string. Okay, so well, let's do it this way. So, this, this function here, well, C is actually, I split the keyword, C is actually one of the worst languages to do this, but what can we do about it? Not much. Okay, I get numbers. Oops, okay, so this one will do a split by a dot character. So we'll call this function if and only if we are sure that it is almost an IPv4 address. And by saying almost, I mean that the, it is split by dots, and in, in between the dots, there are only numbers. So that's what we have to check. Okay, if that is not the case, if that is the case, then we well, this will be the last piece of the code. So we'll say numbers equals um, get numbers input string. And if we don't have four four numbers, oops, the answer is false. And if we do have four numbers, then the ans answer should be um, either all of them are in, in, a, in a range of from 0 to 255. Okay, um, numbers. If the number is... Um, well, we'll check the neg negativity in the string, so if the number is cannot be less than zero, so if it's more than 255, we'll say return false. And if none of those happens, then it is definitely an IPv4 address. So we are basically taking the set of all the possible strings, and we are checking all the cases where it is not an IPv4 address. And then if none of those cases apply, then it's definitely an IP for it. So the first thing which we have to check is that it the string contains only numbers and only a dot character. So we'll go um, the character. So is I believe it was a is a number oh no is num I thought there was a stupid function about ah, anyway. I really thought there was but uh, I'm kind of too lazy to go and look it up, so... No. If it is less than zero or it is bigger than nine in terms of its uh, ASCII, I believe, code, then it's definitely not an IP4 address. So if it is not a number, and we also need to check that and it is not a dot then it is definitely not an IPv4 address and we don't need this bracket okay so then we need to make sure that so after this loop we are sure that it contains only digits and only a dot character okay another case would be if the first character or oops or the last character is a dot then it is also definitely not a valid IPv4 address okay so if this case is applied then if none of this case is applied we're sure that we have only digits and we have only dots and the dots are just inside the string and are not on the border. So another case that we might actually stumble upon is that a number may start with zero, which I believe is not a valid one, except for the case of zero itself. 
so in that case we will just return return an empty array or whatever something that will definitely fail this check okay so now we're going to do this for actually splitting the string we can either use regular expressions or we can use the strings uh, for uh, similar simplicity I would say okay stream so this is our our stream so th this will be our result in which we're going to oops what am I doing in which we're going to read from the stream okay and we also need the, like the resulting numbers okay we're going to return I'll call this actually current as if core to uh, not mistaken it for the result with an actual result and this is our actual result okay now let's use the interface of get line okay um let's the get line so we have to give it as the first parameter is the stream the second one stream the second one is the designated variable in which we want it to store the result and we need to give it a splitter up to which character to read so in, oops. so in our case it is the dot okay now that we have our number we have to like transform it into a number and put it into the resulting vector but we need to make one final check the final check would be if the size of the, the string which you just read is like no I would say more than one and the first character is a zero then it is not a, not a valid number so we're already returning like a empty array otherwise we will just push it into our resulting number which would be an std how are we transforming the string to number uh, to i like string to integer yeah most likely this is the one again i'm too lazy to look it up let the compiler let, let us know okay um, I think this is pretty much it hopefully there are no more cases left I think we covered most of them or all of them yeah I guess we didn't oh this returned and then we got an std invalid argument I'm curious which test we failed. I guess it, it might be like an empty string or whatever. Ah, yeah, sure. An empty string. I didn't take this into account. We can have dots, we can have numbers, but we cannot have two consecutive dots. So we better check, check that one too. Is that all the cases? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we also need to check if there are consecutive dots, because we're sure that after those two blocks, we only have dots and we only have numbers so let's just make that one final check this could have been so much easier with regular expressions ah, oh well I don't know regular expressions it's a dot and and this is oops plus and this is a dot then it is also uh, not a valid IP for address. Oh, oops. Ah, uh, false. Okay. Whew. Mm -hmm. We have an another case for failing. Oh well, let, I'll let the judge tell us what's wrong here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Are there any cases left? If the size is greater than uh, three, then it's also like definitely not an IPv4 address. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Okay, this stupid task took a lot longer than I expected. Anyway, thanks for watching, and you can find the link to this in the description box.